Hey guys, Shimmer360 here, and I'm here to show you the top 10 City of Tweaks 2011. It's now June summer, if you want to call it that, but uh, yeah. I'm going to show you what I think is the top 10 best City of Tweak, uh, you know, pretty much in City of. So I'm going to start from the, uh, I'm going to start from the top to bottom, so 10 to 1. And uh, number 10 is basically Cydia delete. What that allows you to do is to delete stuff that you download from Cydia from your springboard. So let's say uh, you know you you do downloaded uh, installers and let's say you didn't want it again, you, and you gotta go right into Cydia and you gotta wait till it loads and uninstall and all that uh, long stuff. All you can do as long as you have uh, C, C delete. You can easily delete it. As you can see, there's a X right up in install us right there. You can easily delete it from right there. Now you can get CD delete from the modmyi.com uh, repo, and it is a free uh, app. Another one, uh, number nine is just basically you know some regular boot logos. If you jailbroken with uh, green poison or red snow, uh, you already have this installed. Uh, but for Red Snow users, if you did not check uh, custom boot logos, you cannot get this. Anyway, but if you did check it, and if you did, or if you are jailbroken with Green Poison or any other uh, jailbroken software out there, you know you can go into settings, or you can go into City and download like whatever you uh, wanna wanna actually uh, use for your boot logo. And you know you got the Apple uh, logo, Chronic Dev logo logo sorry and this is what I downloaded Apple retro style logo you go ahead and hit preview gives you a nice pretty preview you know you see the Apple logo comes up brings up all these colors and you see this loading bar so that's pretty that's pretty much mine I think that's that's pretty cool alright number eight is barrel now I can't do this very well because I don't have a really nice camera that can actually show you I'm, I'm using a screen recorder on my PC right now but uh, I'm gonna try and go slow as I can uh, whenever you're turning the page to go to your next uh, page of apps, this is what Barrel does. It, whenever you're turning it, it might, uh, you know, make the apps curve up like it is right now, and you know, easily uh, going over to the next one. And you have different features that you can do. You can do fade or slide up or slide down or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can get that from the uh, Sinful iPhone repo and all these. Uh, Sources I'm gonna tell you is gonna be in the description below. All right, so <coughs> sorry. Number seven, Infinity Doc. I'm sure most people notice by now Infinity Doc allows you to add more stuff on your uh, sorry on your on your uh, little springboard dock right there. You can add up like infinity actually you can add all you, the apps on your springboard onto your dock and uh, you know it's pretty cool you can easily slide easily uh, you know go over to your next uh, apps you can get that uh, from the XLIs repo uh, once again you can get that down in the description below alright number seven free sync I think FreeSync is an awesome thing to have. It allows you to sync with iTunes, and you can, you know, you can still play games on the iPod Touch. Cause you know how when you connect your computer to iTunes, you know, you gotta wait till it's finished syncing and all that before you can use it. But uh, you know, with FreeSync, which you can get from the XLISource.com, you can actually sync and play games, or send a mail, or whatever you're doing. Alright, number five, Make It Mine. Make It Mine is just a really cool thing that, you know, always uh, up in the um, top left you would see iPod. You can change the name that you wanted to, like at the top left you can see right now I put it like a boss. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, you can pretty much do that, so I think that's pretty cool. You can get that from the modmyi.com repo in Cydia, and it is a free uh, app. All right, number four, APT backup. You download that from Cydia. Just wait till it loads up. Here we go. Uh, you know it backs up every single thing that you download from Cydia. You know you can hit the backup. Uh, backup could take up to like uh, 
10 seconds or so and let's say you know you, you hate how you have to restore and all that to go to the uh, new infirmary and then jailbreak and then you have to download all the stuff that you download from CD before no just get this hit the backup button sync with iTunes that's it next time you restore and jailbreak again and you actually um, you know uh, download this again you hit restore and it's easy as that all your stuff are uh, back together Alright, number three, backboard. Uh, if I can find it, here we go, backboard. It backs up how your how your apps and uh, lay app are. You, sorry, it backs up how your layout on your Springboard is is. So uh, you know you can move your apps around, and you know you can just it save your scenes and all that and other cool stuff. Sorry, not sure what I just did right there, but uh, yeah. It saves your theme, it backs up your uh, springboard, how it's laid out, and uh, more stuff. You can get that from the Big Boss repo, that is a, uh, um, oh, sorry, my bad. You can get that from the XLIZE repo. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much cool. So, number two on my list. I think this is a great tweak. This is called a uh, mobile notifier. This is the way. This is the way how iOS notification systems should be. You know how you get those little notification pop-ups that annoy you doing you, while you're playing the games and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget about that now. Go to go to see the download mobile notifier. I'm gonna show you what it does right now. So uh, you know, I'm on Facebook right now, and I'm gonna send uh, you know myself a message and when that gets sent oh look at that right up there you see a Facebook thing uh, you see a Facebook um pop-up right there you can tap on it you can choose to ignore it or go to Facebook right now and all that st cool stuff so I think that's a really great uh, tweak right there and this is how iOS notifications should be which it actually is going to be when iOS 5 is released this fall it's gonna actually have this installed and last but not least what I like the most is lock info you know when you lock your uh sorry when you lock your uh wow I guess it's not showing up because I'm using the mic right now but I apologize for that I'll put a video anyway right now giving you a review of lock info you can get that from the XLI source that's an awesome tweak uh you know it I can't really explain it over voice but it's an awesome tweak get uh I'll put a video right now showing you a preview look check it out that's my number one tweak it's awesome and I like it very much and this is Shamar360 hit the subscribe button if you want to see upcoming jailbreaking videos uh you know top 10 city of tweaks top 10 city of themes and review of apps and such so thanks for watching Shamar360 here and uh you know see you later